Hey, Corky, how you doing? Hi, Rob. It's Michael Parker here. It's good to see you again. Yeah, you um, too. You too. Uh, and Rob, can I just take you back to last week and the victory and maybe the manner of the victory over Italy? Something that Andy Farrell said after the match finished. He said it felt like the dressing room was a bit, I don't want to say flat, but it felt uh, that there was an awful lot more within you as a group of players. I mean, what was, what was that feeling like and how was that translated into this week? Um, yeah, I think there was a little bit of that. Um, like we have high standards now, you know, and um, we kind of felt we maybe left a few opportunities out there, um, especially you know when they're <laughs> down to 13 and 12 men. And there were still things like, look, we always we always going to try to get better, and we always want to we're searching for that perfect performance. Um, but yeah, there were certain things that we we kind of needed to nail um, in that game. So and obviously like. Going down to Italy, going down to 13 men and then 12 men, it kind of takes takes away from uh, the game a little bit. Um, it's an unfortunate situation, but but it happens. Now you came on late in the game, but just uh, you know from the position that you play, um, uncontested scrums must be something that you're not really keen on, is it? No, <laughs> tell you what, you, it's a lot easier playing rugby when you don't have to scrum. Um, the legs the legs feel pretty fresh, but uh, no, but like it's obviously. You know, it's a massive part of what we do, and it's a strength of ours as well. So, to take that away from from our game was um, a little bit disappointing. Um, obviously, we want to test ourselves every week, and we, we put a lot of work into it. So, um, but yeah, like you know, it's a it's a very rare situation, and um, we just had to deal with it on the day. And just a final question: Can you talk about England and Twickenham and playing? You know. Just the cauldron up there. I, I mean, it's the, it must be one of the ultimate tests for a rugby player. We've addressed that already this week. Um, just in terms of, um, you know, it's going to be really loud, and um, England are going to try to get the crowd on their side really early on. Um, and like, look, it's a it's a great place to play. Um, like you say, it's one of those one of those stadiums where every player wants to be involved in in that game, and it's a big test match. Um, you know, and. It's, it's it's very exciting to to look ahead to that and like we haven't played that well over there the last couple of times so we, we've got that as well that we we've addressed and um, yeah so please it should be it's going to be a good test for us and um, you know where we want to head as a squad this this is an important game for us. Thanks, Rob. See you soon, mate. Thanks, Cookie. Hi, Rob. How are things? Good, thanks. Yeah, yeah. How you doing? Um, I think both teams have changed quite a bit. Um, you know, particularly sort of the, or the way we play. It's it's come on a long way since then. Um, and I think you know the last time we played there was probably in the start of of Faz's tenure as the coach. And like I think, I'm sure you've all seen it, we've definitely come a long way um, in our attack and stuff since then. So, and like you say, it's a new look team for England as well. So it's going to be a completely different um, experience both ways. Um, but we still have to reflect on on those two games, well, those, the last two games there, and, and what went wrong for us, and you know, maybe why we didn't manage to impose our game on them as well as we wanted to. And you said obviously that England have changed a little bit as well, obviously since then. What have what have you seen from them over the last maybe twelve months or so that they've they've evolved in their game? Yeah, I mean, like I think they they're kicking a lot now. Um, and then I think the other challenge for us is going to be around the breakdown as well. I think they're, they're very good at the breakdown and being disruptive there. Um, they've got a great set piece. They'll compete in our line out. Um, and yeah, I think it's, a, it's going to be a challenge, you know, just to keep things. We want to impose our or play our game. Um, and they've got a very good disruption in their defense. Um, so I think that's going to be one of the big challenges for us. And just finally for me, is, is a big away win really important for this team because as good as maybe the last 12 months or so have been, all of those wins have, have come at the Aviva Stadium. Yeah, that's massive. It's massively important for us. Um, you know, I think obviously against France, I thought, I thought we played really well um, and we just didn't come on the right side of that game. So um, going away to England now, like, you know, we've challenged ourselves um, to play the game that we want to play and, and not be afraid of doing that and, and finding ways to do that on, on the day. So. 
um, and to do it away from home in, in a cauldron like like Twickenham and um, you know all the atmosphere that goes around it uh, it's a different experience so you know for the growth of the group it's going to be really really good for us to, to go over there and put in a, a good performance thanks Rob. thanks cheers guys hi Rob I uh, hope you're well Ruth here hi Ruth um, Yeah, like obviously we've we've seen him around Ulster for a while, and I think like it was, he's not just one of the guys. It's you can't help but be happy for him and be like you know be proud of him. And he's just one of the like sort of salt of the earth guys. Um, really easy to be around, and that yeah, always adds crack. And you could see after the game or even in the game like how delighted guys were for him when when he was going well. And um, you know he's obviously put in some great performances this year, and he's earned his shots and. It was just so good to, to see him go out there and, and do his thing. Hi Rob, uh, Ed Elliott at PA Media. How you doing? Hi, how you doing? Um, just a quick one. Going back to when Andy first came in, you, you were the first choice hooker um, following Rory's uh, retirement. And Ronan's obviously come into that role um, sort of the end of last year and, and started the Six Nations. How, how was that battle with Ronan and, and also Dan? Um, sort of motivated you and spurred you on? Yeah, I mean, I think hooker's a very competitive position um, throughout Ireland at the moment. And, um, you know, like sort of the last Six Nations, like you say, I was, I was starting a few games and um, guys have come in and they're taking their chances. And, you know, but I think we have a good group here and we're all trying to push each other on, um, doing what's right for the team um, on any given week. And I think we all have different strengths and weaknesses and we're just trying to trying to get better as a group. Um, you know, obviously I want to be fighting for that two jersey and I want to be starting. Um, but on any given week I'm gonna do whatever role the team needs me to do as well. Um, so yeah, it's it's like it's, like I say, it's a it's good depth in the group and like we're all fighting for that, that two jersey. Yeah, I mean, I think they're, they're good players um, and like I'll leave you guys to, to talk about all the specific differences and all that. And, but they're, they're good blokes as well and um, we're all working hard together and, and trying to improve the group. Um, and I think they've, been, they've both been playing well for their club as well. So, um, like I said, it's, it's a challenging position and, and we're all challenging each other for it. So, um, we all get better for it. How are you feeling now, and, and how um, how much of the motivation does it give you to uh, uh, take a chance and coming in, uh, and, and how difficult is it to um, sort of get up to speed? Yeah, like, like it's, it wasn't ideal timing. Um, you know, I thought I was playing pretty well coming off the back of, of, of the European games, and but it's just it is what it is. You know, these things happen and. Um, went away and got my rehab done with Ulster and you know, coming fresh again. So, like, I haven't played much rugby in the last sort of month, so I'm feeling really fresh and the body's good. And i um, just excited to get back out there again and, and test myself, you know. So, um, yeah, really looking forward to it. Great, thanks for your time. Thanks, Ed. Cheers. Okay, guys, anything through there for Rob? Happy enough? Okay, great stuff. Uh, that will.